verse 2, he says, For you are a people holy to the Lord your God, and the Lord your God has chosen you to be a people for his treasured possession out of all the peoples who are on the face of the earth. This isn't the first time that Moses has said this, and it's not going to be the last time. But he consistently wants to remind them of their unique position of relationship that they have with God, that God has chosen them to be his people. And we're going to see um, that there are certain distinctions about their lifestyle. He talks about the way that they mourn, the way that they eat, and the way that they spend. But before he gets into that stuff, he says, you know what? It, this flows out of your relationship with God. You are a unique people. And I just think, I don't want to spend too much time on this point, but as we think about the, the, the lifestyle choices that they have, and the, the choices that we have, and maybe the, the choices that we make as Christians, remember that every decision that we make, it ought to flow out of a relationship with, with God and our relationship to Him, that we're brought near to Him. And because of that, we choose not to X, Y, or Z. Or because of that, we decide that we're going to do this or to do that. Moses really wants to remind his people, it's because you're God's people that the way that you grieve at funerals is going to be different. It's because you're God's people that the way you eat your meals is going to be different. And it's because you're God's people that the way you spend your money is going to be different. If we don't consistently remind ourselves of the fact that it's, it's out of a relationship with God that our behavior is meant to change, if we just assume it, soon we'll forget it. And all we remember is just behavior modification. And that's just moralism. <coughs> that's just false religion. We need to realize that every command, every call that we have in scriptures, it comes from being in a relationship with God, therefore, such and such. If we're familiar with the New Testament, um, all of Paul's letters, that's how he does it. He starts off by saying, hi, I'm Paul. And then he spends like three, four, eight chapters talking about what God has done and who you are in your relationship with God, how he's brought you into a relationship with you. And then the last chapter or two is like, and here's some stuff how you should live. Now, oftentimes, I remember as a, as a very young Christian, just, you know, skimming through all those, like, theological bits and just getting to the bits in the end where it's like, be nice, um, forgive each other, and this kind of stuff. But, but now I've come to realize, man, it's because of what God has done that then we're called to respond to it. Anyway, he says God's made you his sons, his family, a whole royal, royal nation. And because of that, things are going to be different for you. 